Hey, what's good, family? How are you all doing this evening? I know it's late somewhere, at least here, uh, early somewhere. So, uh, first of all, forgive me for the lighting. I am walking. Uh, it's my little nighttime ritual. I go for a walk, man. I just think about God, and I literally just, you know what I'm saying, uh, reflect on some, some life and thoughts and just decisions in general. And plus, walking for me is very therapeutic. So with that being said, one thing I want to address is this. Uh, people, please stop being so judgmental or stop over critiquing people who are in pain. Because a lot of times, from what I've seen, people tend to judge people in how they deal with their pain. Everybody has a coping mechanism of some sort. Some people get high. Some people, uh, you know, go around having a bunch of sex. Uh, some people drink it away. Some people smoke it away. You know what I mean? The whole nine. And people on the outside looking in, they always want to say the worst thing about a person. But let me redirect the question. How many times have you been hurt and didn't always make the right decision at the moment you know it's easier for people to say what they would do on the outside looking in but guess what what if you were on the inside and instead of you know what i'm saying you dealing with it in the way you would deal with it what if you resorted to some type of you know coping mechanism will you still be judgmental and so what i want to say is this in closing Stop judging people and how they deal with pain. Uh, again, I can't stress it enough. A lot of times people judge people and how they deal with their pain, but yet they never see them when they are strong or whenever they're willing and able. You know what I mean? That's just not cool. Stop judging people when they're dealing with their pain. Everybody has their way of dealing with stuff, you know? Some people regress, some people progress. And so what you want is to definitely progress. You want to find somebody that you could be accountable to and with. Uh, at certain times, we got to process our emotions. You know what I mean? When you suppress, suppress your emotions, eventually it's like pouring water into a cup. The cup is going to overflow or the bowl is going to overflow. You know what I mean? And it's because you've allowed it to reach maximum capacity. And so what I would say is this. How many times have you allowed yourself to reach maximum capacity? How many times have you allowed things to keep going and going and going? And people always want to judge a person based off their reaction to a situation. And that's not cool, you know? Learn how to extend more grace towards other people. We're quick to extend grace to ourselves. And, and, and I'm talking to me too. It's just not, not me directing this at y'all, but it's also me speaking to me. Because we all got blind spots. We all have things that we could do and can and should do better as a human, you know, have, uh, excuse me, as a human being. So with that being said, Stop being so judgmental when people are literally going through their pain. Again, you, we all have different walks of life. We all have places where we still haven't arrived in. So just take a second thought or two or take a little more time thinking about, okay, what caused this person to go down that route? What caused that person to literally get to that place? You see what I'm saying? And so overall... Let's just stop doing this as a society, man. Let's stop being so numb or cold when it comes to people coping with their pain. We're all human. I don't care how tough you are. I've seen the toughest of dudes and girls get tired. It's okay to get tired. The crazy thing is when God got tired of seeing man sin so much, what did he do for 40 days and 40 nights? He allowed a a flood. He allowed it to rain for 40 days and 40 nights. And guess what happened? He sided it over. So if God can get tired of a thing, so can people. 
point blank period. So take the time out of your day to actually be a shoulder to cry on, be a, a brother or be a big sister to somebody. I guarantee you, you'll feel a lot differently about what people are going through when you actually are walking and doing like beside them. Peace, God bless.